Kyle O'Reilly did a promo, and he said, you know, I at one point thought I'd never get a, a chance to wrestle again, but I've gotten a second chance. It's very special. Love and respect the kingdom, but I've fallen so far down the mountain, I don't even know what path to take. He says, I got a second chance. I'm going to do it on my own. We had the Sting retirement video package. And then Shivani calls out Nick and Matt. And they come down to the ring and he goes, They boot him out. I want to congratulate you on such a great entrance after getting your asses kicked on Sunday. And they flip their lid. The crowd laughs. They kick him out of the ring. And then Nick grabs the mic. He says, You know what? Sting and Darby cheated. They brought all their friends from their retirement home, their stupid six foot eight, 310 pound <laughs> kids. <laughs> One of their kids. And, uh, but you know, he says, Matt made a great point. We ended Sting's career forever, and we are entering ourselves into the tag team tournament, winning those belts back. And you know what's vanished, Dave? The rankings. That's right. Thank, I th- I th- thank gone God. Away. Thank God. They went away already. Good. I, I mean, I, it's, it's fine. My, my, I mean, it's fine by me if they went away. So Matt says we've got two announcements, which was funny because it was actually three. First announcement is Hangman. After what you did. You have been suspended indefinitely from the elite. So we actually don't know if he's suspended from the... Uh, no, but he's suspended, he said suspended without pay. Yeah, from the elite. They specified from the elite. Yeah. That's their group. And then yeah. he goes, and now Kenny Omega, so our does that mean, friend. So, so does that mean that, that Adam Page, when he comes back, he's going to be um, a babyface feuding with them? I don't know what any of this means right now. So I guess that's the impression I got from watching it was that he was going to be. An yeah, I mean, if he comes Okada. back as a babyface, yeah. I, my impression was going to come back as a babyface feuding with Okada. So uh, then Kenny has been uh, booted out of the elite for not showing up for work. And he says he's badly ill. We love you guys. We apologize if you had to find that out on live television, which you did. And item number two, he says, which was number three. We're very excited about this. And then Eddie Kingston storms down to the ring to interrupt. And he just grabs money, throws it at him, and he goes, you said I'd be fine if I talked shit about you, so you might as well take this money now. And they get a big brawl, and they lay him out, low blow, go for the EBP trigger, and suddenly the coin drops. Okada's New Japan music hits. Place goes nuts. He storms down to the ring. He stands beside Eddie. They're going to square off like a tag. But then he grabs him and hits him with the Rainmaker. And so we are getting grizzled, bitter asshole Okada, and I'm fine with that. And so Eddie versus well, the the idea is Okada is, for the Continental Crown. So the idea the idea is that if you remember when Okada first started with New Japan Pro Wrestling, he was a a cocky heel, you know, against Tanahashi for years until, you know, he just got so great that everybody cheered him. Like he never did a turn, but he started as a you know. The idea of the rich, pl- the rich playboy gimmick, you know, like a r- Japanese Ric Flair, not exactly like Japanese Ric Flair, but but somewhat similar, and that's the gimmick he's starting with here too, is uh, the original, the the original portrayal of Okada that he first got over in like 2013 in 2012, 2013 in New Japan. We had Riho and Chris Statlander, which was a very good match, as I all Riho match- matches are. I thought this match was excellent. It was, you know, what a, what a, Rio is fantastic. I don't know why they don't do more with her. And she always gets over. Every they, well, they are. She, she won this match. Yeah. She's yeah, going to she, get her semi annual championship match coming up. Yeah, she, <clears throat> she's, she's, well, she may lose to Willow Nightingale, though, next week. She could, yeah. So, uh, Stokely threw a chain into the ring. Statlander picked it up. The fans were chanting no. So she dropped it outside, hit two big suplexes, tried a third. Riho rolled her up and pinned her. And she was pissed afterwards, and she blamed Stokely, and Stokely was furious. I actually think this is leading to Statlander turning heel. Oh, I do too. That's my prediction here. Which could happen in that uh, Riho match with Willow, actually. What, her interfering to cost Riho the match? Yeah, could do. No, her interfering to cost Willow the match. Oh, yeah, it could be that. So then Riho would probably be. Facing Tony, but she, uh, she already faced Tony Storm, so maybe face Julia Hart. Could be Julia, yeah. Yeah, I mean Julia Hart needs an opponent. I thought, but Willow was was uh, Willow was pushing the idea of her against Julia Hart. Well, that one's coming too, I'm sure. Uh, she, yeah, she's going after the TBS title. And we had uh, Tony. There could be Tony Awards with an eye, she said, so we don't get sued. 
That's coming up on Collision on Saturday. And she gave Mariah a shirt, and Mariah was so happy. So Mariah is now dressed completely, sunglasses completely like the old Tony Storm, to the point that when she came out um, in the old Tony Storm outfit, it was like, whoa, Tony Storm changed her gimmick. But it was Mariah May. I mean, the hair was the same. Everything was the same. So they've got her now as like, you know, the duplicate Tony Storm. So then we had an interesting segment. So first, Darby comes down to the ring. And he said, you know, four or five years ago, I was homeless 40 miles from here. Now I'm main eventing one of AEW's best pay-per-views of all time, Sting's retirement match. And what's next is I've got Jay White next week, and then the 27th, I'm flying to climb Mount Everest. And he says, to be honest, no guarantee I'm going to come back alive from Mount Everest. So this, may be, so this 13th may be his last match. That's what he's saying. I just want to I do time. not. I, I, I'll tell you what. Like, like um, I respect him wanting to do it, but I have no idea why he's allowed to do it. Like, like if this was like a real sport, there was, you know, the contract would not allow this. They don't allow dangerous shit, you know? So And um, this one is quite dangerous. This is This is pretty high on the danger level, yeah. Yeah, I mean, climbing Mount Everest is no picnic. People do die. Most people don't die. Well, obviously, most people don't die. But people do die climbing Mount Everest. It's not unheard of. I think, um, you know, I think dozens of people died doing it. I don't know the, the exact number, but it was. it's not an insignificant number. You want to look it up? I can look it up here in a second. Yeah. But uh, he, he laid the, the belt in the ring, and then Jay White comes down. And this was odd. Jay White basically said, you know, we don't have to do this match next week. He offered to just have Darby go backstage and party with them as Darby Scissorhands. And I was like, why does Jay White not want to face Darby? Like, what's happening here? And Darby said, you made a bit of... He he wants him to join the group. Why? Because Darby's a great wrestler. You would want a great wrestler in your group. All right. You try to establish a dominant group. Well, Darby didn't want anything to do with And Darby has nothing going on with Sting gone. Whispered something that Jay said he'd see him at big business. I mean, it should be a great match. I'll tell you that yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially since Darby's last match for months, so he'll probably like break his body right before Mount Everest. That'll do, you know. If he didn't break his body on Sunday, I think he's going to survive a Jay White match. Would be my guess. He'll survive a normal Jay White match, but he won't survive. He may not survive himself. It's never the match that's the problem. It's himself. I mean, Jay White is a you know. It's not like Jay White is going to injure him. Darby can injure himself. Ooh, what? Three hundred thirty people have died. Yeah, it's not. A, it's not attempting an to number. reach or return from Mount Everest. Yeah, it's not an insignificant number, and most of those people had a lot more climbing experience than Darby. It says, uh, and this is also not good. Uh, this from Outside Magazine: mm-hmm. Climbers are dying on Mount Everest at an alarming rate. The twenty twenty three death toll on Elbrus, uh, Everest. Already reached double digits with multiple people still missing. That was last year. Yeah. So 2023 climbing season Everest has become a chaotic mess in recent days. Multiple reports of death, missing climbers, high altitude rescues. 500 people reached the summit in the last week. That's a lot of people went up there. No, a lot of people. A lot of people make it, but the the but the, the, almost everyone who goes and climbs Mount Everest is a very very experienced climber. You know, Darby is. Uh, Darby is an inexperienced climber, but he did take to climbing at an at an incredibly fast pace because he's whatever he is. He's I mean, obviously Darby Allen is incredibly mentally strong, and that's one of the things you know when when you're doing something like climbing Mount Everest, you got to be in your in physical shape, but you got to be mentally strong because something like that it's it's uncomfortable as hell. It takes months, and it's very easy to quit. You know, unless you just are not going to quit. I mean, a normal person's just a normal person without tons and tons of climbing experience is just—they're just going to quit. You know, All right, right. So the average right. number of deaths per year is five, mm-hmm. and uh, and hundreds do make it to the top. Yes, yeah, most make it, or not. I should say most make it, but but far more are going to make it than die. Yeah. And uh, in twenty twenty three, four Sherpas and six foreign climbers, foreign climbers. So. Uh, All the best to Darby. All the best to Darby. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button. 
and you'll never miss a video again.